I think IMAX is important to, important to the movie industry uh, because we're always um, interested in giving the filmmaker the very best way to tell their stories. It's always about suspension of disbelief, trying to transport you and immerse you, you know, in the story, make it easier for the people to get gripped by the story. And so, how do you do that? Well, you do that by making the images feel lifelike. The new technology for the IMAX laser system is the culmination of over two and a half years of research and development and an expenditure of over 60 million dollars. And we took an approach of designing a system to deal with some of the drawbacks that exist with today's digital cameras, such as low contrast and low sharpness. In order to address those problems, we had to completely redesign the architecture of the digital projector. We're uh, about 50, 60 percent brighter than a DCI spec. We also are using dual projectors and we are displaying the image on the screen using these two projectors both for 2D and 3D. So we actually have double the pixel count on screen. It's not all about bright lit scenes. It's about the, the ambience of you know a dark you know a bar scene. You can't be highly lit. It's an art to actually light it properly because you've got to be able to photograph it. So what this does, this medium allows you to actually have nuance in the black and with our high dynamic range actually be able to see into the black. This allowed us to increase contrast, to increase sharpness. Uh, in addition to that, we are able to extend the, the range of colors, we call that color gamut, and that will provide filmmakers a completely new opportunity to take their craft to the next level. From a film viewer's perspective, the moment you walk into an IMAX theatre, you're overpowered by the large field of view, the size of the screen, if you will. The sound system is designed not just to give you multiple, what we call, points of source, or multiple speakers as such, but to actually replicate sound the way it was recorded. We've added uh, you know, six more channels um, on our 143 system uh, and, and our 190 system. We've added 11. Filmmakers will actually, actually cut differently because of the availability of the, the top and the new side channels. It's a big differentiator for IMAX. We're designing, for example, a sound system and the geometry of the room and the acoustics all to work together. That combination just brings you this, this wonderful immersive experience that you get drawn into the movie and you sort of forget that you're looking at a picture on the screen and you become part of that story. It's all about getting people you know, back to the cinema. I mean, Television at home, you know, those 4K TVs are pretty cool, so we want to give them something new and exciting. But there's nothing like sitting in a big room with five or six hundred people in a darkened environment. I think Hollywood is going to use much more use of 4K capture. And we're really looking forward to, to Hollywood doing more uh, high capture um, and also finishing their movies, including the special effects, in more than 2K. That will make things look even better on, on the big screen.